Hey what's up guys, it's Banu here from AndroidAll.com. The big three button on the Samsung Galaxy S8 is so damn useful, said no one ever. So that's why in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to remap the big three button on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus even after the update that was pushed by Samsung to disable the Bixby button and in this tutorial you won't need root you won't need any super access we just need one app so without wasting any more time let's get started before we start the tutorial I just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to subscribe to the channel if you want subscribe to Android Dollar already so you can go ahead and hit that red color subscribe button and also hit on that little bell icon next week so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video here on YouTube. So now that that's out of the way, let's get started. So in order to get this awesome button remapping working, you just need to download one app and that is called BX Actions. So you can hop into the Play Store and search for BX Actions. I will leave a direct link to download this in the description as well. There are some more apps on the Google Play Store that allows you to get the same functionality but I found that BX Actions has the most number of features and it works best in my opinion. So in order to get this working, you just need to open the app for the very first time and hit on that start key and give it the permissions and accessibility settings so that it can make use of all the data that it needs to remap the Bixby button on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. After you have set all the permissions properly, just go on to the remap section of this app and then you can select the action that you want. So like I mentioned earlier, this app has a ton of features that you can do like this one. This is where you can just pull down the notification drawer. How awesome is that? Or you can also switch and uh, get the multitasking tray or just uh, easily turn on the flashlight. So that would be a great feature to have. Or if not, you can just go ahead and enable Google Assistant or let it go home or even launch a custom app that you have that is any app on your phone. So that would be awesome. This app also has another unique functionality which allows you to remap the Bixby button in two separate occasions. One is when the phone is powered on and the screen is on and the other is when the screen is turned off. So you can have two separate actions, one for the lock screen and one when the phone is turned on and unlocked. I went ahead and added two separate custom actions for the Bixby button and now when the phone screen is turned on, it'll open the multitasking tray and when the phone screen is turned off, it'll just easily allow me to turn on the flashlight. That's awesome because I make use of that flashlight a lot and now it will be just one click away. So that's about it for the remapping of the Bixby button on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. I hope you guys found this quick little tutorial useful and if you did definitely go ahead and make sure that you're subscribed to Android Dollar here on YouTube and stay tuned to AndroidAll.com for all the very latest from the tech world. Also check us out on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. All the links are given in the description and drop a comment letting me know what action you prefer to have on the Bixby button as well. So I would love to hear your feedback about this video and other videos I have made here on YouTube. So go ahead, hit me up and let me know. With that being said, until I talk to you guys in my next video, this is Banu signing out.